Hey guys, it's Ashley, your Scrapping Nerd, and I'm back today with a layout for day one of 31 Days of Cup Files with MK and Janet. And today's cup file is the adults only cup file, and it was designed by Miss Janet Fritz of Galaxy Girl Creations. So I have to say this one threw me a little bit, which is funny because I have no children, so pretty much everything my husband and I do is adults only, but I I was a little stumped on this one. However, when I figured it out, then I, I loved it. So I pulled in my uh, creative scrapbook kit for July, which is full of pebbles, fun in the sun. And you also saw I pulled in a few of my scrap of sketch stencils and I end up going with the X's. I thought I was going to use a few of the stencils, but I did just end up using the X's and I pulled in some distress oxide in the ground espresso, but then I start adding as you will see. So I wanted this wood grain to be my bottom uh, or my main paper. And I took the scrap of sketch stencil with the X's and I, um, used the ground espresso and I as I was putting it through the stencil I was noticing it was looking you know because it's ground espresso so it's very it's a brown color so it was becoming very grungy and I decided I didn't want it to be a grungy layout so the photos that I picked are my husband and I we were on my mom's birthday cruise uh last year and we are at the, it was the Limelight Lounge, and it was the 18 and over comedy show. And so it's a picture of my husband and I, and then it's a picture of my husband and I with uh, Jersey, the comedian. And so once I remembered I had these pictures, I was like, oh, this is perfect for the adults only cup file because it was the 18 and over uh, comedy show. But because it was the comedy show, I didn't want it to be grungy. I wanted it to be kind of happy and it was in the lounge. And so I took, I went and got the Distress Mica Stain in Fallen Acorn and I sprayed that on top of the stencil before I pulled it off. So I put the Distress Oxide in the ground espresso and then you can see I just grabbed a couple 12 by 12 um, scrap papers to cover the rest of the layout because I only wanted that uh, fallen acorn shininess to be in the X's and it's not an overwhelming sh uh, shine or glitter it's just has this shimmer and I think it just softens up that uh, ground espresso so it doesn't look so much like a grungy layout because that wasn't what I was um, going for and I used the paper towel to just kind of soak it up again I didn't want it to have any kind of splatters I just wanted a nice clean shimmer in the X and I'm going to use my heat gun to try to dry it a little bit I thought I was going to add like I said the other stencils so I was drying it so I could then add on top but when I pulled everything in, I kind of liked the only the X's and that they were in this diagonal pattern. So I wanted to start on my cup file. And so I purchased the digital cup files from uh, MK's shop so I could uh, manipulate them and cut them out in anything I wanted. And so I cut it out of black paper and I cut it, I wanted it to be five inches. And so since I didn't change, I didn't unlock the size, it made it five by 3.53 for the cup pile. And I'm just pulling in some of those scraps that I had from the Pebbles Fun in the Sun kit. And I liked this orange. I thought I was gonna go with the pink but I really liked this kind of orange polka dot with the black. And so how I back my cut files is I will glue them down and then cut around them. And so I left this in so you can see how I, how I do that. And I just put the glue on the part where I want the um, part backed. And then I use the scissors to cut around. And I had to be really careful with this one because it has that thin part around it. I wanted to make sure I didn't cut that. And then the adults only, I wanted to also 
back in the orange from the on the top and the bottom and the cup file had also the adults only that goes in the banner and so what I did is I took the um the pieces that I'm cutting now for the top and the bottom and I took the black cutout that was the adults only and I like I said I wanted some shimmer in this layout and so I got my shimmer uh my dilution shimmer spray and it is in color pure sunshine and I just took those parts for the words and I spritzed them so that they really had that shiny look to them and then I used my heat gun to dry it and now I'm just going to glue those on my cup file so the banner part isn't glittery it's just going to be the words adults only there and then the adults only part that's on the top and bottom since I spritzed that the parts that I cut out to back it with the um, pure sunshine it has that shimmer in the back and so it just adds some fun and kind of flashiness I had thought about filling in my banner with some glossy accents so that it looked uh, really like a sign but I decided no I'm just gonna go with the with the shimmer sprays on here and so I'm just getting those kind of glued on the back and I have to be careful when you do mixed media and then um, want to glue something sometimes it doesn't stick and so I, I love my zig pin when I do cut files but I did go back and add some of my glitter glue in the um, the part on the pieces that I did with the mixed media just to make sure they stuck and so I wanted to get back to working with my photos and I'm going to do a double mat on the photos. I pulled in this like cobblestone blue um, paper from the Fun in the Sun and I will have double mat matted and I'm going to do black just because it kind of helps to pull in that black from the cut file that I, um, that I cut. And the blue is just to help kind of pop up the uh, photos from the background and the photo with us and Jersey is because it's in the nightclub you can tell like it's kind of a the picture isn't as bright and it has this kind of blue hue to it which I thought was uh, funny to then also back them with blue to to kind of pull in that and this was the first uh, dress up night and so my husband and I are all dressed fancy and uh, we took the picture with the comedian who was hilarious. We just loved him and like he has the biggest smile like you know some people just exude joy and he just did that. We went to um, another one of his shows while we were on the cruise as well. He was one of our favorites and so I pulled in that... Um, little cut apart and it said summer bucket list and it's on a like a lined paper and so I cut off the summer bucket list and then I set it there and I wanted to use it because I want to document you know that his name was Jersey we were in the limelight lounge you know all that good stuff and um so I set it up at the top but I it was bothering me it took me a little while to figure out what to do with this piece but I set it up there and I pulled in from the um, from the thickers pack that I had earlier the, of the fun in the sun, I pulled in the word happy and the word fun. And so you can see here, I'm moving that over. I pulled this happy together, cut, cut apart. And I liked putting this happy up at the top because in the background of my husband and I's selfie, um, there's a guy sitting there and he looked exact, looked exactly at the camera when I took it and so in the picture he's like staring at you when you look at the layout so I definitely wanted to cover his uh, face with the happy and then when I moved the lined paper over to this side I liked it and then I was like oh what about my notebook punch and the minute I made the notebook punch on that cut apart then I was happy then I was like okay that's going to work perfectly for my journaling and I took the adults only cut file and I backed it with foam so that it'll pop up off the layout. I added that pink flower at the top to kind of pull in the pink word fun that I put down there. Um, I had, like I said, originally wanted to put 
the adults only in pink, but I really liked this orange. So I tried to kind of put pink and orange on the layout. And then I pulled in the smiley faces and just did a little cluster um, of the smiley faces up at the corner here. Because like I said, he just exude joy and I just thought that that was a cute way and to mimic and to honor that he's the comedian. And but I really I really like this layout and how it turned out. Like I said, it took me a minute to figure out what to do with the cup file, but once I did, I was done and it was perfect. So make sure that you check out all the information below for MK and Janet's um pages and see what they do. I believe there's going to be a uh, playlist and so I will put that down in the information box as well. Thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit those buttons and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye!